Scrum is a framework for managing product development. It's an iterative and incremental process, breaking projects into small, manageable sprints. Scrum uses a collaborative approach, bringing together a cross-functional team to work on a product. The image shows a diverse group of people in a bright, open environment, reflecting the collaborative nature of Scrum. Scrum allows teams to work in an agile, flexible way to deliver products incrementally. Scrum is a framework that emphasizes teamwork and collaboration among all team members. It promotes an open and transparent working environment where everyone is aware of the project's progress and status. Scrum uses fixed-link sprints to create a sense of urgency and focus, ensuring that work is completed within specific timeframes. The process is adaptable and can adjust to changing requirements, allowing for iterative development and continuous improvement. The Scrum roles are critical to the success of any Scrum team. The product owner is responsible for defining and prioritizing the product backlog to maximize value. They work closely with stakeholders to understand their needs and ensure the team is focused on the most important features. The Scrum Master ensures the Scrum process is followed and removes impediments to team performance. They coach the team and help them continuously improve their skills and practices. The development team is self-organizing and cross-functional with all the skills needed to create the product. The different Scrum roles work together to deliver high-quality products in an efficient and collaborative way. The Scrum team is the core unit responsible for delivering value to the customer. It's a self-organizing, cross-functional group made up of a product owner, scrum master, and development team. Each member has specific roles and responsibilities, but they all work together collaboratively to achieve the sprint goals. The scrum team structure enables agility, accountability, and efficient delivery of the product. As the product owner, I'm responsible for representing the voice of the customer and prioritizing the product backlog. My role is to ensure the development team clearly understands the features and functionality we need to deliver. I work closely with the Scrum Master and the development team to keep the project on track and adapt the product backlog based on their feedback. My goal is to be a visionary who sets the direction, while also being a collaborative partner to the team. The Scrum Master is a key role in Agile teams, serving as a facilitator and guide. They help the team navigate the Scrum process, remove impediments, and promote collaboration and teamwork. The Scrum Master embodies the role of a servant leader, focused on supporting the team. They provide coaching and guidance to the team, help them remove obstacles, and foster a positive and productive work environment. The Scrum Master ensures the team follows Scrum values and principles, enabling them to deliver value effectively. The Scrum team is a cross-functional group of professionals who have all the skills needed to complete the work. Team members take collective ownership of their work and the overall success of the team. The team works together in a transparent and collaborative way with clear communication and a shared understanding. The team continuously reflects on its processes and looks for ways to improve how it works and the outcomes it delivers. This team structure and way of working helps the team be agile, responsive, and continuously enhance their performance. The Scrum framework consists of several key events that help the team stay aligned and continuously improve. First, sprint planning is where the team collaboratively plans the upcoming sprint, prioritizing tasks and creating a sprint backlog. Next, the daily scrum is a short 15-minute meeting where the team synchronizes their progress and identifies any impediments or blockers. The sprint review is an opportunity for the team to demonstrate the completed work to stakeholders and gather valuable feedback. Finally, the sprint retrospective is where the team reflects on the sprint, identifies areas for improvement, and implements adjustments for the next sprint. Each of these events plays a crucial role in the scrum process, helping the team stay focused, transparent, and continuously improving. The product owner has carefully prioritized the product backlog, ensuring we focus on the most valuable items for the sprint. As a team, we've worked together to define a clear and concise sprint goal. This outlines the desired outcome we want to achieve during the sprint. Based on the prioritized product backlog, the team has selected specific items we are committed to completing during the sprint. We will work together to ensure we deliver on these commitments. The Daily Scrum is a brief, 15-minute meeting for the development team to discuss progress and identify any roadblocks. 
During the meeting, the team answers three key questions. What did you do yesterday? What will you do today? And are there any impediments? This format keeps the meeting focused and ensures the team has a clear overview of the progress being made. By identifying issues early, the team can address them quickly and maintain momentum on the project. The daily scrum is an important part of the Agile methodology, helping the team stay aligned and work effectively together. The sprint review is a key meeting where the development team presents the results of the sprint to stakeholders. During this meeting, we'll gather feedback and insights from stakeholders on the working product increment we've delivered. We'll demonstrate the new functionality and features we've built and review the completed tasks and overall progress made in the sprint. This is a collaborative session where the team and stakeholders work together to understand the impact of the sprint and identify areas for improvement going forward. The goal is to ensure we're delivering value to the customer and making progress on the product roadmap. The sprint retrospective is a key scrum event where the team reflects on the previous sprint. The goal is to identify areas for improvement, what worked well, and what could be better. This is a chance for the team to learn from their experiences and make adjustments for future sprints. We'll go through a three-step process, reflect on the sprint, identify areas for improvement, create action items to address issues. By taking the time to thoughtfully review the sprint, we can continuously improve our processes and collaboration. The Scrum artifacts are the key elements that help organize and track the work in a Scrum project. The product backlog is the prioritized list of all the features, requirements, bugs, and other work items that need to be implemented in the product. The sprint backlog is a subset of the product backlog that the development team plans to complete during the current sprint. The increment is the potentially shippable product that emerges from the sprint backlog as the team completes their work. The burndown chart is a visual tool that tracks the remaining work in a sprint, helping the team monitor progress and identify any roadblocks. These artifacts provide transparency and help the Scrum team plan, track, and deliver the product incrementally. The product backlog is a prioritized list of features and functionalities desired for the product. It's a living document that constantly evolves based on user feedback, market changes, and business priorities. Each backlog item, also known as a user story, has a detailed description outlining its functionality, acceptance criteria, and expected value. Backlog items are refined and estimated during backlog refinement sessions, providing a clearer picture of effort and value for each item. The sprint backlog is a list of tasks the development team commits to completing during a sprint. It's a dynamic list that's constantly evolving as work progresses, updated by the development team. Each sprint backlog item is a specific work item from the product backlog, broken down into smaller, actionable tasks. The sprint backlog includes estimates of effort, dependencies, and acceptance criteria for each task. The key focus of an increment is to deliver a usable and potentially releasable product, representing the progress made during a sprint. The increment should focus on delivering the most valuable features as prioritized by the product owner. The increment should be continuously updated throughout the sprint, reflecting the team's progress towards the sprint goal. At the end of each sprint, the increment is reviewed and demonstrated to showcase the team's progress and the value delivered. The Scrum workflow is an iterative and incremental framework for managing complex work. It consists of a series of recurring events and artifacts that help the team work effectively. The core elements of the Scrum workflow are Product Backlog, a prioritized list of features the team will work on. Sprint Planning, where the team selects the work they will tackle in the upcoming sprint. Daily Scrum, a daily meeting where the team discusses progress and any impediments. Sprint Review, where the team demonstrates the work they completed in the sprint. Sprint Retrospective, a meeting for the team to reflect on how they can improve their process. A sprint is a fixed-length, iterative development cycle, typically two to four weeks long, where the Scrum team works on a set of predefined work items from the product backlog. The focus during the sprint is on delivering a potentially shippable product increment, showcasing the team's progress and demonstrating the value created. At the end of each sprint, a review and retrospective are held, providing opportunities for feedback, adjustments, and continuous improvement of the process. The sprint cycle allows the team to work in a focused and iterative manner, delivering value incrementally and continuously improving based on feedback. 
Backlog refinement is a crucial process where we work together to ensure our product backlog is ready for the next sprint. The product owner starts by prioritizing the backlog items based on their value to the business and how urgently they need to be addressed. As a team, we then clarify any ambiguities in the backlog items and break down larger items into smaller, more manageable tasks. Finally, we estimate the effort required for each task using techniques like story points to get a sense of the relative complexity. This refinement process helps us have a clear, prioritized, and well-understood backlog going into the next sprint. A planning poker is a collaborative estimation technique where team members use playing cards to anonymously provide estimates for tasks. A relative sizing involves comparing tasks to each other and assigning relative sizes based on their complexity and effort. Story points are a unit of measurement used in agile software development to estimate the relative effort required to complete a user story. Time boxing is a technique where tasks are allocated a fixed amount of time, regardless of whether they are completed. Velocity is a key metric in Scrum that measures the team's output during a sprint. It represents the amount of work a team completes in a sprint, typically expressed in story points. The definition of velocity is the average story points completed per sprint. Velocity is important for forecasting, capacity planning, and setting sprint goals. Tracking velocity over time helps identify trends, predict future sprint capacity, and adapt to changing circumstances. Burndown charts are a powerful tool for visualizing the progress of a sprint. They show the amount of work remaining over time, with the ideal chart showing a steady decline. This helps teams identify potential problems early and stay on track. The chart on this slide is clear and easy to understand, with a clean and professional look. Burndown charts give teams visibility into how much work has been completed and how much is left. This allows them to proactively address any issues that arise during the sprint. The data behind the chart helps drive discussions and decision-making for the team. Impediments are obstacles that prevent a team from reaching its goals. They can be internal or external, technical or interpersonal. It's important to identify and address impediments as soon as possible. This can be done through regular team discussions or using a dedicated tracking system. The Scrum Master is responsible for helping the team remove impediments. This may involve escalating issues to management or finding workarounds. Removing impediments is crucial for maintaining a healthy and efficient Scrum process. Impediments can have a significant impact on team productivity and morale. Scrum boards are visual tools used by Agile teams to track the progress of a sprint. They typically have columns representing different stages of the workflow, like to do, in progress, and done each task or story is represented by a card that is moved across the board as it progresses. The board helps the team identify any bottlenecks or impediments that are slowing down the work. It provides a clear, real-time view of the team's progress and helps them stay aligned, the visual nature of the board makes it easy for the whole team to understand the status at a glance. Kanban boards are visual tools that help teams track progress, identify bottlenecks, and improve workflow. The word Kanban comes from Japanese and means signboard. Kanban is a method to optimize work by identifying and eliminating waste. Kanban boards are often used with agile methodologies like Scrum, but can also be used independently for managing tasks and projects. The primary goal is to track the progress of work items as they move through the process. The image shows a colorful, close-up view of a Kanban board with many sticky notes and a positive, bright mood. The Agile Manifesto is a foundational document that outlines the core values and principles of the Agile approach to software development. The four key values are prioritizing individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, and responding to change over following a plan. The 12 principles highlight the importance of delivering value frequently, embracing change, focusing on working software as the primary measure of progress, and maintaining a sustainable pace. These values and principles form the basis for agile methodologies like Scrum and Kanban, which emphasize iterative development, cross-functional collaboration, and continuous improvement. Understanding the Agile Manifesto is crucial for anyone working in an Agile environment, as it provides the guiding philosophy and mindset that underpins Agile practices. Scrum is a popular Agile framework used for managing complex projects. 
Obtaining a Scrum certification demonstrates your expertise and commitment to the Scrum methodology. Scrum certifications can help you gain credibility, advance your career, and access exclusive networking opportunities and resources. There are several Scrum certification options available, including those from the Scrum Alliance and the Professional Scrum Master, PSM, program. These certifications cover different levels of Scrum knowledge and experience, so you can choose the one that best fits your needs and goals. Scrum is a popular Agile framework used in a variety of industries to help teams deliver value incrementally and iteratively. In software development, Scrum helps teams respond quickly to changing requirements and deliver working software on a regular basis. Scrum is also being used in healthcare to improve patient care, optimize processes, and manage complex projects more effectively. Construction projects can benefit from Scrum's emphasis on planning, collaboration, and timely delivery. Marketing teams are using Scrum to develop more effective campaigns, track results, and adapt to changing market conditions. Scrum is a popular Agile framework, but it can be challenging to scale to large, multi-team projects. I'll cover three frameworks that help scale Scrum across multiple teams, Nexus, Less, and Safe. Nexus is a lightweight framework that coordinates multiple Scrum teams working on a single product. Less emphasizes self-organization and collaboration across Scrum teams, scaling Scrum principles to a larger context. Safe provides a comprehensive framework for scaling agile practices across large, complex organizations. Scrum is a popular agile framework, but implementing it successfully can be challenging. One key challenge is resistance to change. Teams and individuals may be reluctant to adopt new methodologies, especially if they're used to traditional workflows. Another challenge is lack of training and expertise. Effectively using Scrum requires a deep understanding of its principles and practices. Clear and consistent communication is crucial, but can be difficult. Miscommunication can lead to misunderstandings and delays, Accurately estimating the complexity and effort of tasks is also challenging and requires practice and experience. Scrum is an agile framework that can bring significant benefits to organizations. One key benefit is increased productivity. The focus and collaboration in Scrum leads to faster delivery of valuable features. Scrum also improves a team's adaptability. The iterative nature allows quick response to changes, keeping the product relevant. Scrum enhances transparency through regular meetings and visual tools. This provides clear insights into progress, risks, and challenges. Finally, Scrum prioritizes user needs and delivers working software frequently, resulting in greater customer satisfaction. In conclusion, Scrum is a powerful project management framework that can help teams deliver high-quality products in an efficient and collaborative manner. By embracing the principles of transparency, inspection, and adaptation, teams can continuously improve and adapt to changing circumstances. So, whether you're working on a software development project or any other type of project, Scrum is definitely worth considering. Thank you for watching and happy scrumming!